Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to Burley 555 TV, and welcome back to my NCAA Football 07 series that I have been doing with my best friend, The Gravy Man, since September of last year. So we've been going for 15 months strong. We're getting deep into the fifth season of our Dynasty mode, which is the 2010 season. The Gravy Man didn't play last week, though. Only I did. This week, though, he's got a matchup with undefeated Virginia Tech at home. So he's really going to be up against it on both sides of the ball. But especially when he's on offense, because Virginia Tech has an A-plus defense that's super talented, super fast. It's probably the toughest defense he'll face all year, even though he's already faced some pretty good defenses in his league. But anywho, that's neither here nor there. Here we're watching me go on the road to play 1-6 Washington State, one of the least talented teams in the entire country. I, of course, am the undefeated Oregon Ducks. I'm ranked only number two in the coaches poll, but I'm ranked number one in the media poll, and I'm number one in the first BCS rankings, which just came out. So I consider myself the number one team, even though it doesn't say on screen that I am. Because that poll is the coach's poll that it's based on. Oh no, I did not know about this. NCAA infractions. Ah, well. Crud. Um. Hold on, let's see what I can do. Mitchell has skipped numerous team meetings and has no respect for team rules. He needs to be penalized severely for his actions. Well, I guess I'll give him the old... I guess we could suspend him for the season. That'll make the NCAA happy. Well, actually, no. Hmm... Yeah, I'll just keep him three games. Because you never know who else is going to get penalized this year. Alright, well, that won't matter for this game. Alright, well, let's go on into this. Uh, let's give myself the dark pants. And let's give these guys... Uh, I guess they only got the one... They don't have all the uni combinations like they did later on. Alright, let's get into the action. Washington State's looking to pull off the greatest upset of all time. I'm looking to stay undefeated and make my push to get back to the national championship game. Yeah, having a 95 overall offensive lineman suspended for three games is going to hurt, but I'm pretty good and deep at offensive line, so I'm not really worried. I recruit well on the offensive and defensive lines. i Brad Nessler, joined in the booth by Lee Or at least I have been so far. There's a chill in the air tonight, but it probably won't adversely affect either squad. Get ready for the Oregon Ducks and the Cougars of Washington State. This college football season continues to roll on. The best team in the Pac-10 versus the worst team. Oh yeah. And here come the Cougars. The Cougars look like they're going to get killed out there. What do you think? The same thing, Kirk? Oregon comes into this football game led by their quarterback, and he's such a leader, Brad. Believe me, he won't buy into... 45 touchdown passes already this year. Only three picks. He's a competitor, and he'll be ready to play. Of course, Sam Brown is coming off a game where he threw 10 touchdown passes and 657 yards, and he ran for 168 and three scores on 12 carries. He's not going to put up stats like that today. I'm not going to run it up with him. I'm just going to play my normal game and get more time for the bench guys. Let's defend this. Oh, I don't get to start with the ball in the second half. That sucks. He kicks off. Bell takes from the 10. Ah, oh, good kick coverage by now these guys. The come out of the 
But now before my offense hits the field, let's go ahead and let's fix this. So I'll put Mr. Lake right here because we want Tony Haley here and we want Brown there. And then, yep, there we go. Defense is ready now. All right, let's see what McDuffie can do. If you like passing yards, then you're in for a treat. Today we get to see a very skilled quarterback dissect a defense that's pretty weak at cornerback. Oh, he could be in for a field day. He's not going to face two starting corners much weaker than this. I expect this young man to have a big day moving the offense. Kirk, you're absolutely right. He's a special... Ah, darn it. Hmm. Oregon has been explosive on offense this year. They're in the top ten in the nation in yards per game right now. That's not bad. There hasn't been a defense that's been able to slow them down all year. And it shows because those are some impressive numbers. Brown, back to pass. Rolls to the right. Sam! Oh, what? Really? Come on! Sam Brown! Good hustle there by the D lineman. He saw the ball pop out and just went after it. Nice hustle. It sure was. It's often an overused term when referring to defensive linemen. That's wow, what really? Guy, has a guy who had 13 running. touchdowns last week the fumbles the ball on his first play. There we go. The tackle at the 27. Back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. <sighs> Come on, D. yard line. The Cougar line up with a single set backfield. He jukes him. There we go. Down at the 26. And he manages to get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Come on, D, bring the heat. Third, third down. Ball on the 26 yard line. I know we don't have home field advantage here, but you got to bring the heat regardless. Jack lines up with three receivers on his left. He drops back. He's under Tony Haley, another sack. Oh, yeah, there you go, big boy. I think that's his 20th sack of the year so far. You need to block this guy with your best line and chip him with the tight end, or even have a fullback stay in to take out his legs. And you know what happens next? Your quarterback goes down with a sack. Nobody, nobody can stop this kid. We wish him congratulations on the record. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field Whoa. for their next possession. Did they just catch it at the one? First and ten. Oh. On their own 20. All right, well, let's try this. Oregon comes to the line. Only one oh, geez, back. nobody blocked Three that guy. They sent one the blitz and drilled the running back before he could find any daylight. Washington State has not been very effective on the defensive side of the ball this year. No, they've really struggled in coverage, mm. and they've missed a lot of tackles in the running game. Let's this see if McDuffie can get the edge on this guy here. That's why they've given up so many points. The running back has it. Brought down there you go. Nine-yard pickup. Nine yard gain on the play. Alright, let's bring out the good go to. Alright, they are not gonna give me that. Brown with three wide receivers. Alright, you get out there, Mr. Uh, Brian Brown. Oh boy, they're in big trouble if they think they can one on one you. Looks to pass. Looking. Eh. He'll take it himself. There we go. Bring him down. I didn't like that look, so I took what he I could get. The ball on that one and picked up the first down. I think it's a great decision by the quarterback here to take. Yeah, let's see run. if we can get Fuller going. It's first and ten. Ball on the thirty-three yard line. Oregon comes to the line with three wide. Set to go to the air. Got it to the senior. He's there we the go. 
at the 41 yard line. Eight yards on the play. I like that. In school history. As far as yardage, he's been more successful than anyone. This guy oh, can really let it go one yard. What an accomplishment for this young man. He now owns the school record for the most passing yards in a career. He couldn't catch it. First down, Jacobs. There you go. So they'll pick up a first down there on a four-yard completion. The playbook is the playbook is wide open when you have first or second down and short. It's tough to defend against those short passes because the defense doesn't know if you're going to run or throw the football. Ooh, I might have a speed option here with Mr. McDuffie and Sam Brown. All right, here we go. We're just going to grind clock. There you go, McDuffie. Nice run. And they were lucky that one didn't go for more. No question, and they were not ready for that option play. They had guys running everywhere except to the ball. Lee, you're right. They looked like they never did the option. Ooh, we might have a wide run. We just might. We're just going to grind that clock on these guys. There we go. Good job, McDuffie. Good yards. Seven yards. Here's the eighth play of the series. On the 32 yard line. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna audible out. Line up with three wide. Hmm. Na 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 touchdown to Brian Brown. Sam Brown to Brian Brown. Sam Brown to Brian Brown. By a college quarterback. Congratulations, kid. Yep, easy peasy. They'll line up for the extra point. Boom. And he converts the extra point. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Wee! He got all of this one. Great kick. Ricks from his own end zone. You guys remember what this offense did the last time they had the ball? They had the ball before? Exactly. It was three and out so fast they had to ask for slow bowl replay to recap it. Washington State comes out with an eye formation. Back to pass. Looking. Rolls right. Boom! Minucci with the sack. That's how you do it, big boy. Number nine makes the sack. Five yard loss. Look at this replay. All right, D. Let's do this. Jack has trips to his left. Jack drops back to pass. Tony Haley with another sack. There you go. That's a new record for the school's all-time sack list. What an Boom. By one of the best what a monster. Look at that. From their own eight-yard line. Here's a third and long situation. All right, boys. Keep bringing the heat. Jack lines up with four wideouts. Looks. Boom. Fourth down. We'll take that. They had a long way to go. Yep. They just played it safe and threw a short pass. No need to force an interception and put yourself in a worse situation. Bell, back deep to return. Punts the ball away. You know what? 
Oh. At the 42 yard line. Dang it. That was close. On this drive is to see how often the defense changes up its coverages. They didn't defend the pass very well that last drive, so it's going to be interesting to see if they play well, the over here. at the 42 yard line. Excellent field. All right, let's see if we can get Fuller going. The Ducks come out going three wide. The senior makes the Jeez, man, he had all that space, but he ran the wrong way to start. Well, so far, and wouldn't let that screenplay get by them. I'll tell you what, these guys play sideline to sideline and have great instincts. They knew exactly what was coming in. The offense lines up with three wide receivers. See if we can hit Fuller down the sideline. Maybe. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, dang it. Overthrew them all. Well, Fuller may be blinking, but I'm not getting him the ball again. He just ain't, he just ain't fast enough. The Ducks are lining up with three receivers. Brown drops back to pass. And we got the first down, bro. Nice. There we go. First down. And it's plays just like that one that make him such a nightmare for defense. Well, that's why he's so tough to defend. You've got everybody covered downfield, and he just takes off with all that speed. It's first down. Yard line. Brown doesn't like what he sees. Hmm. First down, and it's the senior. Jeez. Down at the 18. A three-yard gain on the old screen pass. Oregon has done a great job of getting points once they get inside the red zone. Hey, when they get close to the goal line, you can count on some kind of score. They never come away empty-handed. <laughs> Do 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 Brown steps back to pass and it's caught. Oh man. And they make the stop at the 15. They are playing me well. And they won't get much. Well, for a screen to work, the linebackers and linemen have to get up field. That time they stayed at home and made the play. Third down, four yards to go. 15 yards. Brown comes to the line with three wide. Oh, how did he not get that? I'm going. No can do on that run. That'll bring up fourth down. Boy, you're absolutely right. Those guys got in and shut them down, and now they're all fired up. Jeez. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Brown with three wide receivers. They're going to throw. Looking. First down, Sam Brown. So the quarterback decided to get it by himself. And that's the type of thing that can happen on fourth down. The protection fails, but the pass rush couldn't quite get to him right, in time. And now this drive is still going. First down. Mm, the Ducks. Oh, I don't like that. Come on, guys. Jeez. With a takedown at the eight yard line. Oh my god, they're making me grind. Second second and seven. Do do do. Let's get buzzed. Oregon lines up with three receivers. Nope. Okay, I thought I got buzzed on my phone, but I didn't. I'm just going cuckoo for cocoa puffs. Brown back 
We and it's a touchdown every time. Took a great run to get that in. Nice, nice play, kid. Get those legs rested so we can do more of the same. Yeah, we'll do that. And they're lining up for the PAT. Defense is playing great. I'm grinding out drives on offense. I like it. He makes the PAT. Nine plays, 42 yards, 349 off the clock. I like that. Shortens the game. I get a touchdown, expand the lead. Oregon is ready to kick it away. Ricks and Hamilton set to return. Boom. Decent kick. Ricks fields it at the three. Not a whole lot of success their last time out. Not at all. This offense has to do a better job of staying on the field and giving their defense a chance to catch their the breath. Washington State Cougars take over at the 22-yard line. Come on, D. Comes to the line with three wide. Cut. Jack will hand it off. Jeez. Brown tackles him at the 27. A pickup of five. Here's where the offense stands compared to the rest of the nation. Yeah, they sure are struggling when they have the ball. Nothing good seems to happen when they're on offense. The Cougs line up with four wideouts. Ooh, Tony Haley. Batted ball. Oh, he had a shot at him. Ooh. Well, that was a good defensive effort there. The ball was there, but the defender third beat the receiver five. to it. Nice play. Oh, well, that'll bring up third down. Washington State goes with the ace set here. Jack steps back to pass. Tony Haley forces a fumble. Oh, we didn't get it, but it's fourth down. And they're going to punt. Quarter with the score, Oregon 14. Washington 14 to nothing. Here we go. I'm fine with the way things are going. The Cougars lining up the punt and away. Bell, the return man. He gets it away. Why, Terry? Why? Personal foul. Kick catching appearance on the kicking team. Uh, I'll accept. First down. First, First down, down, 10 yards Ball to go. On the 30 Ball on the 33-yard yard line. Yard line. The Ducks come out oh. showing three wide. You know what, let's try QB power. There we go. With the tackle at the 30. It's second down. Ball on the 30-yard line. The Ducks set up in the gun. Cat <sighs> 82. Brown drops to throw. Has it to the senior. There we go, Mr. Fuller. Way to get up the field. At the four-yard line. And the Heisman candidate comes up with a big grab. It's almost unfair to put a guy on this wide out and expect him to defend him all game. He's just too good to contain over a long period of time. The Ducks line up with three wide. Green pass. He snags it. There's Touchdown, a Fuller. Do, 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 do. All right. Here's the kicking team to try the extra point. And he hits the PAT. That score leads us to our Pontiac Looks like they're ready for the kick. Boom. And this is just a booming kick. 
Hamilton fields it in the end zone. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. Here's the offensive production statistics. Sponsored All right. Coca-Cola. Come on, offense or defense. Shut down this offense. Washington State comes out in the shotgun. Boom. There we go, Haley. Nice tackle. 21 yard line. He picks up a yard on the play. We've got second and nine here. Ball, ball on the 21 yard line. Cooper lines up as a single back. Quick toss. It's complete. Jeez. With a takedown at the 43 yard line. How about that pass, fellas? Well, oh, Brad, the defense was coming with the blitz, and that's ah. the for these guys to get open. Yeah, and if you're coming with the blitz, you better get to this quarterback. Otherwise, he'll make you pay. Jack drops back. He lets it go. Boom. There you go, Marcellus. At the 42 yard line. On the they get a one yard loss on one that yard loss on the From their own 42 yard line. line. Second and 11 coming up. The Cougar are lining up with three receivers. Tony Haley. This one is Ooh, what a hit. The blitz works that time. And let me say this. Now pay attention. This is exactly why you want to put the pressure on a quarterback. That time it was an incomplete pass. The next time it may be an interception. Cooper is the single setback. Oh, Tony Haley again, just in his grill every time. The offensive line didn't protect the quarterback very well. The pressure was there in no time. Ball on the 40. The runner comes on the field, getting ready to send one off. McCormick awaits the snap. He punts it. Signals for a fair catch. Well, I'll tell you guys, the passing game was sure on target during their last drive. And the quarterback had great protection by his offensive line. Start when he gets time, he can pick you apart. They'll start at the 24 Ooh, they really don't want that. Lines up with three receivers. 391. Brown, looking to throw on first down. Well, hi. I think that's a touchdown every time. Down the sideline. Yep. There you go. In for the touchdown. We do 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 do. Line up for the play. Bam 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 bam. Do 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 Boom. And he tacks on the extra. Twenty-eight zero, just like that. Remaining here in the second quarter, and the score: Oregon. This is just another ho hum game for me. Nothing about this game is surprising me at this point, especially when I'm playing a team as bad as this. Hamilton fields it at the nine. Ooh. I don't know if you guys saw this, but the coach gave his offense quite a speech before he sent him out there. And let's not forget, they had some things clicking the last time out. He's probably just reminding them to finish the job this time. Jack drops back on first down. Jack. Let's it go. Oh, there you go, Robinson. Nice tackle. Nice little catch there, huh, coach? Yeah, that was a good call. I like that call. Couldn't get in front of the ball, but he made sure that guy didn't go anywhere else. Good yardage. Like it. Cooper, hello to the backfield. Ooh, nice job by Brown. Lee Brown comes up and makes a big stop. This is textbook. Four yard loss on the play. Yeah, and that time the defense got him to go backwards. Jack set to go to the air. He's rolling right. Deep pass down the right side. And he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 40. Well, that was an impressive stand by the defense. Three good defensive plays. There we go. Nice job, guys. It's fourth down, and the punt team lines up. Bell will be the return man. He gets it away. There we go. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. The they were able to move yard apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. Right, so, so start coach, drive. I'm telling my defensive lineman run. to get more First pressure ten. on that quarterback, please. Oregon goes with the ace set here. It's the tailback. First down for McDuffie. There you go. 
He picked up big yardage on that He's run. approaching a thousand yards on the year. Nice job of holding on to their blocks, allowing him to break through for some big yards. All right, let's see if Mr. Brian Brown can run the ball. Here are the offensive production stats brought to you today by Coca Cola. Ooh, I don't like Brown. that look at Back all. Yeah. Not liking this at all. Oh. Stop at the 39 yard line. Brown gains around three yards on the run. Second, second and seven. Let's see if they give it to me. Oh my gosh. The Ducks with four receivers. Let's see if we can get one of these guys going. Na 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 Mr. Smith! Oh, you loser! You had a touchdown and you dropped it. You're making Sam Brown look bad. Pinstriped it perfectly and you dropped it. Brown steps back to pass. He looks. He rifles it. There you go, Jacobs. Nice catch. Tackle at the 46. That defense was coming with heat on that play. Yep, but the offensive line did a good job of picking up their assignments. And that gave the quarterback enough time to throw a nice pass to pick All up right. the first down. Brown comes to the line with three wide. White 33. What, 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 what? Steps back to pass. Looks. He's going to take off. There we go. Good yards. At the 37. Second they line up at the 37. Uh, okay, here we go. Let's see. Oregon lines up with three receivers. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to send that guy deep, too. Rolling out to the right side. And Sam Brown, Sam Brown. <laughs> At the nine. There aren't many words to describe what we just saw there. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of some guy that used to play for Virginia Tech, Coach. That just about sums it up, Kirk. And since we're in the red zone, let's have a look at the numbers. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone. When performance matters most. White 33. 391. And McDuffie gets a touchdown. <laughs> that created some confusion for him. Do you do you do you do you do you do you do Boom. 35-0, just like that. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Boom. He sends it off. Hamilton fields it in the end zone. Drives to Juke. This defense did a good job on the last series. They forced the offense to go three plays and out. And now they're looking to build off of that and shut them down again right here. The Cougars come out in the shotgun. Tony Haley with his third sack. Of, oh, fourth sack of the game. My bad. I shortchanged you there, Tony Haley. You got to forgive me for that one. Ball on the 15-yard line. Jack, back to pass. Tony Haley of sack number five. 
Yay! Uh, yeah. <sighs> That's how you do it, bro. That's how you tackle it, linebacker. You get to that QB and you myrtleize him just like that. The Cougs come out showing three wide. Jack drops back. Steps up. Boom. Three sacks in a row for Tony Haley. Six for the game. Man, are they fast. Once the quarterback hikes the ball, they're already in there. That's how you play D. Washington State lining up the punt. You can bet the punter sweating to have to kick this one from his own end zone. He gets it off. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. The Ducks line up with four wide out. It's a direct snap. Brian Brown getting yards. Yard a seven yard run by the running back. From the 35 yard line. Ball second and three. Yard line. Oh. The Ducks. Brian Brown may have another run the other way. Uh, all right. Direct snap to the back. Ew. Well, I tried. This safety does everything you ask of him. He can come up and play the run or drop deep into his zone and stop the pass. And right there, I think he was looking for the run the whole way because he got the backfield in a hurry. From the gun. White 33. Hold on, left. Hot. Gets it up the gun. First down, McDuffie. There you go. And it looks like he got the first down. I'll tell you what, Brad, that is very close. I didn't think he was going to make it there, Coach. Kirk, I agree with you 100%. I thought he was stopped short, too. This kid shows some real determination on that run. The offense lines up with three wide receivers. Whew. All right. Hmm. <sighs> okay. First down. Look at the throw. Look. Tell you what, you all go running with my running back. Oh, what a hit! Oh, what a hit! Sam Brown is just fine. When the pressure is coming from the inside and the quarterback can escape the pocket, it usually means he's going to have some room to run. And we take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone. When performance matters most. Oregon comes to the line with three wide. Hot, 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 hot. He looks to throw on first down. It's complete. Ugh. And they make Damn. the stop at the 13. That screen play gets him a yard at the most. Second it's second down and nine. nine to go. Ball, Ball on the 13-yard line. Brown. Ooh, we might actually have one here. Might actually have a speed option. Here's the option. He's hit and got away. He laterals the ball. Oh, wait, what? I'm challenging that. Well, it looks like they have another chance now with that fumble recovery. I'm challenging that one. That looked like he was down. That looks like he was down.
Yep, thank you. The pressure turns up when in the red zone, and that's when you turn to Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters most. He drops back. He rolls out to the right. He's looking. Here comes Man. And he's tackled in the open field. Jeez. Well, the quarterback scrambles for about four yards on the play. I'm going for this one. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. I'm not settling for field goals against these losers. From the gun. Oh, I, I I didn't tap the button hard enough. Gosh darn it, that's all my fault. You gotta go for the points this early in the game. They'll set up shop at the 17 yard line. No, I don't, Kirk Curb Street. You don't know that. Jeez. The Cougars call a timeout, and they've got two remaining. First and ten. Ball on the 41 yard line. High formation here. Jack drops back to the first down. Oh, and nice. Ooh. Seriously injured on that play. Oh, Hurt their starting QB. And I don't think it looks too good. That may be a very tough blow to this team. From their own 41 yard line. Oh, second and 10. White lines up with three receivers on his right. Throwing right. Oh, that should have been a pick. Good defense right there, coach. It was, Kirk. But you know what? It's all reaction. Anytime you're out there on defense and the pass is within arm's length away, you knock it down. Washington State comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. White with a nice play fake. Jeez, come on. Someone cover that guy. Washington State calls a timeout, and they'll have one timeout left. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. White comes to the line with Tony line. Haley White with sack air. number seven. White goes down with a sack. In the first half, seven sacks. White lines up with three receivers on his right. Across the middle. And, he's and he's tackled at the 30-yard line. Let's take a look at the offensive production numbers. Brought to you by Coca-Cola. The Cougars call for a timeout. And that was their third and final timeout. They line up at the 30. First down. So we'll probably get one last heave to the end zone here before halftime. He looks white with a bullet to the left. There we go. Nice deflection. 35-0 halftime lead. And it hasn't been pretty. Our score, Oregon 35, Washington State nothing. Hasn't been my best offensive execution, but we're doing good enough. We've outgained him 339 to 44 in yards. Outran him 166 to negative 44 I passed him 173 to 88. I've got eight sacks as a team already. Seven by Tony Haley. Gave up one. I'm four of six on third downs. They're one of seven. I'm one of two on fourth downs. I have the game's one turnover, and they have none. But I'm dominating time of possession. Sam Brown's 11 of 13, 173 of three scores and no picks. And has 11 carries for 88 yards and a score. McDuffie has 12 for 69 and a score. And Brian Brown has three for 10. But he's also having a great game receiving. Need to get my other guys going, though. But it's up to the defense first. The Oregon is lining up to get their second half started. Boom. He sends it downfield. Ricks takes it at the four. He's taking bank move. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. 
All right. The Cougs line up with three wide. Looks to pass. He's looking. Throws back across field. Really? Wow. With the tackle. What the heck? That should have been picked. Easy to overlook those guys on the line. Yeah, the defense came after them, and those linemen held them long enough for the quarterback to throw for a first down. White with three wide receivers. They'll throw on first down. Somehow gets the ball away. Oh. They can't connect. Incomplete. He almost had him there, Coach. Yeah, well, guess what? It doesn't count if you almost threw a good ball pass. On the almost yard doesn't count. Sounds like a head coach talking. Yeah. White drops back to pass. Rolls to the oh, ball. Tony Haley. Again, sack number eight. Eight. They line up at the 34. Ball on the Third and 15 yard coming up. Line. Washington State comes to the line with three wide. White back to throw. Sack number nine for Tony Haley. Just one more sack from this kid. Because he had 10 in the game last year against Stanford. For the most in one game. He can get two more. Whew. Wow, Tony Haley, NCAA legend. That's what I'm telling you. He's going to go down as the best linebacker in college football history at this point. Is the deep man awaiting the return? He punts it. Bell calls for the fair catch. And now we'll see the offense come out of the field for their next possession. Hmm. He looks to throw on first down. Yeah, nah, 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 nah. Oh no. Oh darn it. Almost. So that'll make it second down. From their own 33 yard line. Yeah, I don't have the best receiver core this year. The Ducks come out in a shotgun. 391. Brown, back to pass. He's rolling right. Brown, rifles. There you go, Jacobs. Nice catch. This is a simple case of finding the hole in the zone. The quarterback did a good job of recognizing the coverage and then found his man. Yep. Give the receiver some credit, too. He got open, then made a nice catch for the first down. First, first down. Ball on the 46 yard line. Brown changes the play at the line. Complete. There we go. And we got a full head of steam going. There you go. But not before he gets all the way down to the eight yard line. And that catch will give him over a thousand yards on the year. He has had a great season, guys. Well, no disrespect to the receiver. I mean, a thousand yards is an incredible number no matter what. But don't forget about the quarterback who's been throwing the football. There we go. Jacobs gets in the end zone. Credit should go to him. They'll line up for the extra point here. Boom. And he hits the PAT. And here's the Pontiac drive summary. Do, 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 do. Oregon ready to kick this one off. Ricks and Hamilton back ready to return. Wee. Ricks takes it at the four. A little juice. Flag on the play. Let's see what it is. Hopefully that's holding on them. Ooh, clipping even better. On the receiving team. After this, it's going to spot the foul. So they'll move First back down. after that costly penalty, and they'll have to try to get that yardage back here. They'll, they'll go to work at the 10-yard line. First and 10. 
They come out with three wide receivers. He jukes. There you go, Tony Haley. At the -yard line. You can't be stopped, bro. He's like Bobby Boucher in this game. Ball on their own 11 yard line. Washington State sets up in the eye. Drops back to pass. He's looking for his man. Uh, Thomas can't hang on to it. Pass. Thomas was the intended target, so that'll make it third down. Third and it's nine. third and nine. Ball on the Ball 11, on the 11 yard, yard line. Yeah. Cooper, the lone back. Drops back to pass. He steps up, rolling out to the right side. Oh, that's it down. There we go. Haley almost had sack number 10. It's fourth down now, and we'll see the punt team. McCormick is waiting for the snap. Punts the ball away. Bell signals for a fair catch. Well, the offense heading back out onto their field after that kick. Hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. The We've Oregon got a first and ten. Take over at the 47-yard line. First and ten. McDuffie lines up as a single back. Brown. Jeez. And down he goes. Four yards, yards at least. McDuffie gets about four yards on the play. From the 49-yard line. Ball it's second down and six to go. The Ducks changing their play at the line. Hmm. All right, we're doing good. We're at 42 0. It's early in the third. Defense is playing lights out amazing. I'm not worried. Not worried. Not worried at all. Brown steps back to pass. Looks. There he goes. He's all right. I think that's 100 yards for the game. Yep. Just hit the century mark on the ground. Coach. He kind of plays like you did when you were Florida State. I can see that. However, he's not going both ways. That's right, my friend. The Sunshine Scooter was playing both ways. You were under center and playing defensive back. The Ducks are lining up with three receivers. Wow, that guy's humping his way over. Looks to pass. He throws the screen. Jeez, what are you doing, man? Jeez. You know what? I'm going to find that one play. Yeah, this one. Second and long coming up here. Ball on the 41. Brown calls an audible. Drops back to pass. He looks. Brown lets it go. Oh, Henry, you loser. Holy smokes. The safety makes a good play here, but as a receiver, he's got to get in there and play some defense. Making perfect passes, and these guys are just dropping them. The Ducks line up with three wide. I don't trust that look. Turns out I was right. Rolls to the left. Yeah, and that's a touchdown. Bye. Brown brings it in. Touchdown. Take that. Touchdown pass number five. They'll line it up for the extra point. Boom. And he tacks on the extra point. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac drive summary. Oregon is ready to kick it away. Do, 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 do. Boom. He kicks it off. Ricks fields at the goal line. So the offense takes over, and the last time they had the ball, they had a tough time. Going. They'll take over at the 25-yard line. At the 25-yard line, first and ten. 
They'll line it up with four wide receivers. White steps back to pass. Throwing left. His receiver Jeez. hit out of bounds at the 47. You know, it's really easy to overlook those guys on the line. Yeah, the defense came after them, and those linemen held them long enough for the quarterback to throw for a first down. First and ten. Ball on their own 47. White has trips to his left. White drops back. Oh, sack number 10 for Tony Haley. Tying his own record. What a game for this kid. Check this out. With that sack, he's tied the NCAA record for the most sacks in one game. Congratulations. Tied his own record, you mean. Second and long. Ball, Ball on the 42-yard line. line. Washington State goes with the ace set here. Back to pass. He's oh. and almost got to him that time. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Washington State comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. White drops to throw. Throw short, catches it. Brought Good job, Sandy. 46 yard line. Decent pickup, but they'll still be a zip code away from the first down. It would have taken a small miracle for them to get six yards on and that third and long. Bell, the return man. Plenty of hang time on this one. Calls for the fair catch. Not a lot of trouble scoring the last time they had the ball. Let's see if that passing game does the trick again. They'll go to work at the 23-yard line. First and ten. Ace backfield. Up the middle. And there we go, McDuffie. That's a good seven-yard game. That'll bring up second down. From their own 30-yard line. Second down. Brown is back in the gun. Look at the throw. Surveys the field. Oh no. Deep downfield. Oh jeez. Well, at least Smith got his hands on it. Receiver on the play. So that'll make it third down. Third it's third down. And three. three to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. The Ducks are lining up with three receivers. Third and short, and they'll throw for it. Looking. Oh, you think I'm gonna throw for it? Makes a move. Instead, I'm going to run for it. At the 42. What an outstanding third down conversion. Yeah, and he showed pretty good quickness there, picking up a nice game. Good quickness and very good decision making. Not a whole lot going on as far as First throwing the ball ten. there. Bringing it down and making a big play. Oregon lines up in a shotgun set. Brown, back to pass. Complete. First down, Fuller. At the 47. They call a receiver's number on the screen pass, and it results in a new set of downs. Yo, that play caught the defense totally off guard. By the time they realized what was going on, it was too late, because the big fellas in the old line were smashing into people downfield. Yeah, and the D better get ready out there, because the last thing you want to see as a coach is your secondary taking on blocks by 300 pounds. Direct snap to the back. Come on, Brian Brown. Get that first down and He's more. The he gets hit there you go, buddy. At the 27-yard line. So they keep it on the ground, and they get their third first down of the drive. Yeah, this is a pretty good-looking drive, don't you think, Coach? Yes, sir. The offense first is in rhythm down. right now. They are running well and blocking well. And they're wearing down this defense. Oof. The longer a drive goes, the more the advantage goes to the Over offense. Two. Drops back on first down. Caught. Oh. a very impressive open field tackle. Good pick up by the receiver. Yeah, this kid loves to play. He wants the ball every time they throw it up. Have a look at our Old Spice red zone numbers. Red zone, 
when performance matters most. The offense got six the last time they were inside the 20. Let's see what they do here. And the snap goes to the back. First down, Brian Brown. Brings him down at the 14-yard line. Picked up a first down on that carry. Yeah, a good job up front by the offensive line. They picked up some nice blocks to allow that back to get in there for some extra first yardage. And ten. First and 10. Ball on the 14-yard line. The Ducks set up in the gun. We might have a speed option. All right, we're nearing the end of the third quarter. And McDuffie gets his second touchdown. And he's up to 94 yards. And they line up for the point after. All right. Make that 56 to 0, George. And he hits the PAT. And just over two minutes. Next possession will get Sam Brown one more touchdown pass, then we'll take him out. Washington State, nothing. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Boom. Kicks off. Hamilton fields it at the three. Boom! Tony Haley on special teams. So the offense takes over, and they'll try to figure out this defense as they forced them to punt the last time they had the ball. Here's a look at the offensive production statistics brought to you by Coke. The Cougs line up in an eye formation. He drops back. He's looking. White. Unload. Uh. It's complete. And they were stopped for a minimal gain on the play. That was a sensational effort by the defense. They were all over that pass. From their own 24-yard line. Second down. Cooper is the single setback. Back to pass. And it's caught. And taken down at the 33-yard line. How about that pass, fellas? Well, Brad, the defense was coming with the blitz, and that opened some room for these guys to get over. Come on, guys. Yeah, it's going to stop blitz, again. You better get to this quarterback. Otherwise, he'll make you pay. High formation here. Nice play fake. Let's it fly. There we go. Snags it. Tackle at the Good tackle by Robinson. They complete the play action pass for a pickup of three. Seven seven. They line up at the 36. The 36 Second yard down, line. seven yards to go. They're in the eye. Jeez. And he's tackled at the 49. One. <sighs> Here they give it to the tailback and a little misdirection play. And you can see the athleticism and the ability to make guys miss. Nice play. My offense is crazy. Cooper, the lone back. White hasn't missed yet. Sack right. number 11 for Tony Haley. And New single game NCAA no one has record. Ever gotten to the quarterback this many times in one game. And yo, he's not done yet. I don't think anybody can block this guy. He's unstoppable. You need nope, to not today. Use a fact to chip on him. Ball, one on one, you can set an NCAA sack record where nobody's going to be able to reach it. The Cougars go with the I formation. White, back to pass. He's been perfect on this drive. Boom, Lee Brown with a sack. He's brought down at the 37. We are living in the backfield. They line up at the 37. Here's a third and long situation. Washington State. Comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. White is looking to stay perfect on this drive. And it's caught. Jeez, fourth down. Seven yard line. He made the catch and they're still going to be short. Hey, if you would have gotten some yards on first and second down, you Four wouldn't have needed so many on third down. 11 sacks for Tony Haley. Washington State, ready to put this Gravy one man's going to be like, Aah! when he sees to Tony Haley's turn. final line. <laughs> McCormick punts it, and it doesn't look like he got all of that one. Signals for a fair catch. 
The last time this offense had the ball, they ran it very well, and they put it in the end zone. We'll have to see if that's their focus one more time. They'll start this drive. All right. 19 yard line. The 19 yard line. First and 10. The Ducks line up with four wideouts. The running back has it. There you go, Bob, uh, Brian Brown. I was about to call him Bobby Brown. It's Brian Brown. They read the blitz and picked it up nicely. Second and short. Ball on the 28-yard line. Ooh. The Ducks come out the shotgun. Come on, guys. Block. Block for McDuffie. McDuffie gets it on the inside. Clark with a the There we go. Heading to the fourth quarter. This one is well in hand. Board. With the score, Oregon 56. Washington State, nothing. First, first down. Huh. You think so, huh? Oregon in a four wide set. Blue 19. All right. Drops back on first down. One. Come on, man. Get this one. Finally. Oh, there you go. To the 22 yard line. Finally. Haven't been bad enough. Yep. This is pretty much like adding salt to the wound. But we've seen this all game. First, First down, down, 10 yards Ball to go. On the 22. On the 22. <laughs> My Four gosh. Four receivers in the formation. Big dog, big dog. Hot. First down, look at the throw. Complete. He's knocked out of bounds at the three. And that reception put him over 100 yards on the day. Well, this guy is such a big part of this offense. If he doesn't get his numbers, they usually don't have much success moving the football. And that's why he's so valuable to this football team, Kirk. He's a big-time college football player. Let's see if they can punch this one in. It's complete. And touchdown, number six for Sam Brown. He done. Well, why? Boom. And he adds the extra point. That score leads to the final. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Here's the kick. Hamilton fields it at the one. They've been getting walloped all day, but at least they're still working hard. I like a team that never quits. The they line up Stadium at the 16. Cougars take over. It's first the down. Yard line. First and 10. Washington State goes with the ace set here. White hands it off. Boom. Good job, Marcellus. Marcellus. Tackles him at the oh yeah, I gotta make my subs now. Let's see. Uh, Sam Brown, yeah, done for the day. McDuffie, not yet, not yet. Uh, Fuller, yeah, he's done for the day. So we'll go to that. So Brown's done for the day. I'll put in Costa and McCollum and Mr. Lucas. All right, and then I'll put in Jacobs, Smith, Lupo. I am deep at receiver, bro. Yeah, we're going to have some fun next year at wide receiver. Second and six. Man, we're in the fourth quarter and they still haven't scored yet. That's unusual. Even for me. The Cougs come out showing three wide. White drops back to pass. Let's it go. Complete. Jeez. Tackle at the 29. 
The wideout made a good-looking grab there. You're right, and the quarterback threw it as soon as he saw he had that extra step. Washington State comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Boom, there you go, Robinson. Robinson. Brings him down for a loss. Nice. Loss of two. Second they line up at the 27. Ball on the second down. Yard line. Washington State goes with the ace set here. He drops back. He'll dump it short. Catches it. Jeez, dang it. I almost and had him. At the 43-yard line. The defense was coming with heat on that play. Yeah, but the offensive line did a good job of picking up their assignments, and that gave the quarterback enough time to throw a nice pass to pick up the first down. White comes to the line with three wides. White with a pitch. Halfback pass. Backward pass at the fumble. Oh. Falls on the fumble. They narrowly escaped there. It was close, but he recovers a fumble for his team and avoids a turnover. Come on, D. Looking for his first incompletion this drive. He ignores the first and makes the catch. Short pass there, and they get a moderate gain. There's nothing wrong with third and diamond up down the field. Here's All third right. and eleven. Washington State comes to the line with three wide. Complete. Jeez, twice down. now. I could have stopped him and didn't. That's how you convert third down, sweetheart. That was a good-looking play, wasn't it, Coach? Oh, yeah, this offensive coordinator must have seen something in the defense he really liked. White with three wide receivers. White drops back to pass. Looking, throws, Ooh. and it's incomplete. He and led his tight end just a little too far on that pass play. Yeah, he liked that one back. He will complete that pass right, nine out of ten times. It's second down. White lines up with three receivers on his left. Back to pass. He'll dump it short. Catch really? Him. Come on. You were there. Knock him down. Nice little pitch and catch with a wide out. Quarterback and receiver spend a lot of time together. The coaches say they stay after practice just working on their timing. And right there it paid off. Come on, D. The Cougs line up with three wide. You'll get the call again. There Sonic you go. Brings him down at the 31 yard line. Cooper gains about a yard on the play. Second it's and second nine. and nine. Ball, Ball on the, the 31. 31 yard line. Cooper lines up as a single back. White still has it. Looking. Up. Boom, Sanders with a who fumble. We got it. Tony Haley with a fumble recovery to go with his 11 sacks. Defense comes away with a fumble recovery. Well, nothing's going their way today. The offense has been horrible. So is the defense. Even their special teams are struggling. Take over. The offense will start at the 33. Ooh. The Ducks come out the shotgun. Option left side. Ladders back. McDuffie with over a hundred yards. And they move the chains once again. And that's what they need. And he's done, just like that. McDuffie played his last down for the day. And then we'll put in Mr. Bell and Mr. Banks. Alright. Here are the All right. offensive production stats brought to you today by Coca-Cola. They'll line it up with four wide receivers. Do 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 do. do. Costa hands it off. Yeah, Brian Brown with the first down. At the 42. How about the job of this offensive line, guys? Boy, the hog mollies up front are demoralizing the defense. It's tough when you're tired. You're Losing, you're being dominated physically. I don't know how long they can keep this up. Oregon sets up with four receivers. All right, uh, burning clock and running the ball. They'll give it off here. Ah, that's good yards at the 36 yard line. The running back gives them six on the ground.
from the 36 yard line. Second down, four yards to go. All right, Stagol might have an outside run. He just might. This could be it, ladies and germs. One of my super speedsters in the young developing backfield is about to get the ball. They snap it to the back. That's yeah, more than a first down for him. him down at the 19. They pick up another first. Yeah, this is a great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. And we take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone, brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone. Oh, we might have a speed option here. Oregon lines up in a shotgun set. <sighs> okay. <sighs> okay. Here we go. Running the option. The really? And the offense picks it up. Wow, I tried to pitch it and stay the almost cost them. You can't fumble the football like that. The coach is calling the option because he trusts his players to take care of the That one's entirely a Nate Costa. You can't blame me for that one. They sure are. That one had I made the right decision. Costa was just too slow to pitch it. The Ducks come out in a shotgun. Throw. He's looking. He throws. It falls. Uh, the ball is roughly separated from the receiver by the defender. And that's the way you play defense. Rough and tough with no apology. Third and 12 from the 21 oh, yard line. 21 Third and 12 coming up on this one. Oregon comes out in the shotgun. Costa back to pass. He rolls out to the right. He throws right. The wow. Really, Costa? That might be the biggest drop of the game so far. Yeah, he did a heck of a job in coverage. He just didn't finish the playoff. And that's why I guess he's not a wide receiver. They're already up big, and this could make the lead bigger. The kick is up. And it's 66 and it's to 0. Good. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac Drive summary. Do, 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 do. We do, 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 do. Yeah, we're going to change our running back situation again. We're going to put Stiggle and Bell and Banks. And that's it. Running back by committee. Hamilton fields it at the three. You know who's trembling right now? Well, it's not the defense. They played well all game. All right. Here's the offensive production statistics, sponsored by Coca-Cola. Come on, D. Let's finish this shutout. Cooper, alone in the backfield. Sack number 12 for and Tony Haley. For a sack on the play. 12 sacks. One game. Or is it 13? I don't know. I'm losing track of how these sacks he's getting. From their own 16-yard line. Ball it's second and 15. White, back to throw. He throws it. There we go. Great play. That's how you make someone drop the football. Let them know you're there and then... Wow. Put your hands on Come on, D. I will say that. I agree. The offense lines up with three wide receivers. Looks to pass. Slips it short. Caught. He sheds really? Wow, that's such bull. At the 36. Wow, how about that third down conversion? Boy, what a play here, guys. I'm really impressed with the poise of this young quarterback. Uh. Very cool and collected out there on that third and long play. We've got a first and ten. Ball on their own 36. Washington State lines up with three receivers. Five Jeez. So the only man between him and the end zone makes the tackle. They pick up solid yardage there. Yeah, nice little pitch and catch there. The wideout was able to find a little open space in the defense, and the quarterback was able to get him the ball for a good pickup. White steps back to pass. He passes it. He catches another. 
Really? Oh my god. Ah, I came so close to pitching a shutout. That's okay. And he converts the 66 to 7. We'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Really? Oregon. You are such colossal. The hands team comes on the field for this onside kick. Here it goes. I'll take that. Well, that'll end all hopes of a miracle. You can say that again. This one is pretty much done. They'll this is a great place to start your drive on the opponent's side of the 50. The Ducks line up with a single setback here. Nice. Make the move. Oh. At the 20-yard line, he seems to be running harder and harder as the game goes along. And if you notice, guys, the defense seems to be getting a little bit tired out there. Here are the offensive production stats brought to you today by Coca-Cola. Oregon goes with the ace set here. All right. Jeez, he just came unblocked. A one-yard gain by the halfback. One yard gain on the play. And since we're in the red zone, let's have a look at the numbers. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone. When performance matters most. They're in the red zone again, but this time they should be thinking touchdown. Hmm. Gives it up the gut. Humble. Really? Come on! That is trash. Too little, too late, guys. Straight up oh, yeah. trash. No chance these guys are coming back. Yeah, but at least these guys are still playing hard. You do got to give them some credit for that. Well, they're in the red zone, Lee. What do you think their chances are? It's the good news, bad news situation. The good news is they're in the red zone. The bad news is they aren't very good when they get down. The that's just a great defensive play. It won't look like much in the stat book, but that's getting the job done. That'll second make it second down. down. Ball on the so it's second and ten. Ball on their own 18. White drops back to pass. He delivers. Jeez. Tackle made at the 30. The defense looked a little lost on that one, Kirk. Yeah, they did, Brad. Nice recognition here by the quarterback to see that confusion and then take advantage of it. First and ten. Ball on the 30-yard line. Washington State lines up with three receivers. Back to pass. He passes it. Complete. Good Jeez. open field tackle. What did you see there, guys? The defense was in zone coverage. The offense did a good job of protecting the quarterback, and he threw a nice ball to get the first. Uh, I should have let that one play out. Nice route to get open between the zone coverage. Well, I can't argue with this decision. Here's the Coke players of the game. Washington State comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. White to the air on first down. Throws this one out to the right. The he just put a little too blitz. much air under that one. That's one of the reasons defenses like to blitz, not only to sack the quarterback, but also to force him into making the bad throws. Three yard line. Second down. The Cougs line up with three wide. Boom! Oh, Lee Brown. I think that's his second sack of the game. For a loss at the 35. Third They'll line and up ball. at the 35. Ball on the 35 Passing situation here on third and long. On the goose, on the goose. Back to pass. Fires deep down the right side. Really? Come on! I tried to go tip that away. He just wouldn't do it. Passing on the day for this quarterback, Kirk. He's been successful picking at this defense all day long. Yeah, coach. He's really tearing up this secondary. It's first, first down. Yeah. 
Washington State comes out of the shotgun. Tony Haley again. Sack number 13 for Tony Haley. From the 38-yard line, second and long. The offense lines up with three wide receivers. White, back to pass. Tony Haley, sack number 14. He's brought down. Tony Haley four. says no to drugs. NCAA football 07 legend. And just look at this. Urgh. The offense faces another third down. Final here. score, 66 to 7 final. Ta-da! What a game by my defense. And that's pretty much going to do it. What are your final thoughts on the game, coach? Yeah. I can't say enough about this performance. Oregon played an excellent game out there, dominating on both sides of the ball. They've got to feel pretty good after blowing out a team like this. We here at EA Sports thank you for watching this game of NCAA Football 2007. The final count in this one, Oregon 66, Washington State 7. For Lee thank Corso and Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler with our final goodbye. We'll catch you next time. All right, let's see. We won 66 to 7. We outgained him 682 to 264 in yards, outran him 320 to negative 91, and barely outpassed him 362 to 355. I recorded 18 sacks as a team. Oh gosh. I went 6 of 9 on third down to help them to 4 of 14. I went 1 of 2 on fourth downs. Uh, I had two turnovers, they had one. But they didn't sniff the red zone, and they only got the one long touchdown bomb. But other than that, they had nothing. Individually, we see that Sam Brown went 21 to 26 for 362, with six touchdowns, no picks, and had 13 carries for 114 yards and a score. And then we saw Nate Costa go 0 for 2. And he had one carry for negative three yards. Uh, McDuffie had 17 carries for 110 and two scores. Brian Brown had eight carries for 63 yards. And he had th three receptions for 149 yards and three touchdowns. And Stiegel had three carries for 34 yards. Fuller had 11 catches for 116 and two scores. Jacobs had six for 52 and a score. And Brandon Smith had a 45 yard reception. But Tony Haley. Jesus himself had 19 tackles, 15 for loss, including an NCAA record 14 sacks in one game. Holy bajoli. He also forced a fumble and recovered a fumble. And then we see that Sani had seven tackles, including one pass deflection. Long had six tackles. Robinson had five tackles, one for loss, and he had two pass deflections. Marcellus had five tackles. Lee Brown had five tackles, three for loss, including two sacks. And we also see that Minucci had a sack. And that's all you really need to know, ladies and germs. But I am now undefeated. I put on an all-time great defensive performance, even though it wasn't a shutout. And now I'm 8-0 in the season. Making that push for the natty. If you liked what you saw in this video, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. Leave your likes and comments down below. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my Rumble and Quarter channels. With that, I bid you guys adieu, farewell, see you in the next one. Toodles!